for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long while. A little bit too long, actually. Um, we finally have some PSA returns for you guys. The last return video I did was for March. Well, guys, we finally have them back for April. And I, I currently have them in my possession. Uh, it is the end of August at the time of recording. And it took a long time for PSA this time. Like, it took too long. I'm actually really upset that it took that long. But the thing is, is that PSA fell behind again for a little while. They had sent a lot of their staff on to on-site events. And it was a little bit out of anybody's control. Definitely not any issues with Ludkins, who we always send with. Uh, Ludkins Collectibles did a fantastic job advocating for us and getting these done as quickly as possible. I have to say, Charlie, had, man, he stayed on top of everything, trying to make sure that these got back to us as timely as possible. So big shout out to Charlie from Ludkins Collectibles, guys. If you're going to grade and you don't have a PSA membership and you don't want a PSA membership... <laughs> Excuse me. Ludkins Collectibles is absolutely the way to go. Um, as a matter of fact, I didn't only just get April. I also got uh, our... We didn't send in May. But I already have our June and July submissions as well. Which is crazy. Of course, I'm going to be waiting to post those videos. Because I don't want to do them like all back to back to back to back. But we got April, June, and July all together. And yeah. I mean, it just goes to show that they definitely advocate for their customers. So make sure you guys use Ludkins USA uh, for your uh, PSA grading services. I highly recommend them, guys. Super trustworthy. As a matter of fact, uh, the very first card I'm going to show you guys, this card is something, again, that Ludkins advocated for me for. However, they weren't able to resolve it with PSA, but they honored the insurance guarantee. This card... When I originally sent it, let me make sure it's this one, yes. When I sent this card originally, this was definitely a 10 candidate. And PSA actually messed this card up. There is a crease, let me see if I can find it. It's super hard to find, unless you're really, really looking. But there's a crease between my thumbs, right there in the back of the card. And it's super, super hard to see. It's right below and in that letter K, I wish I could get my fingers in there a little better, or my uh, my zoom in there a little bit better. There it is. There it is. You can see that. That was not there when I sent it. Charlie knows it. I know it. However, PSA refused to acknowledge that they damaged my card. And this thing got a four. This is the only card that I knew about prior uh, because he actually messaged me, which is why I'm bringing it to your attention now. But here's the thing. With Ludkin's guarantee, this card was covered. He actually offered me uh, the value of the card, and I still got to keep this card, even though it's, excuse me, even though it came back a four because of that issue that PSA did uh, and refused to acknowledge. He still advocated for me, still paid me the value of this card out of their own pockets, and I still get to keep the card. So, again, you can always count on Ludkins USA, Ludkins Collectibles to cover you when you have these kind of issues that happen with PSA, because they do happen from time to time. The only middleman service that offers that insurance in the United States. It's huge, guys. This is huge. Um, one of the biggest things I could ever say about them is that they honor this, and it's so beneficial. So, again, big shout out to Charlie for that. But anyways, yeah, disappointing. I was really looking forward to getting this card back because I was super excited about it. I loved this promo card and PSA messed it up on me. So unfortunately, it's a four. Uh, probably gonna crack that open and do something else with the card because there's no value to anybody as a four, but it is what it is. Okay, so the rest of these cards, uh, I actually have not looked at at all. I don't know anything about them. Um, I'm just gonna pick them up as I go along here. I set them sideways and didn't look at them. So these are just in the order that I got them in. This first card is a Japanese card, and it is Sabrina's Gengar. This got a nine. Oh, yes, this is awesome. So this is from the Japanese Gym 2 set. It's a beautiful hollow card. I love, oh, I love the hollow patterns that these sets had. Uh, I'm not a huge Japanese collector, not even like remotely. Uh, I collect certain hollows and certain full arts, but uh, this is a beautiful card. 
I have to say, I love this card. So very happy that that got a 9 on that one. Alright, what's next? Okay, we got an English card here. Got a little quarter neck there. Probably gonna be another 9. We'll see. Yes! Alright, so we got Zapdos. This is a hollow, this is a secret rare actually, from Supreme Victors, and this one got a 9 as well. Very nice looking card. Definitely like Zapdos a lot. I just graded this one for fun. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just kind of grade some stuff for fun if you uh, are somebody who grades a lot like us. We do send off usually uh, around 100 or so cards a year to be graded. So this is one of my fun grades. It's a cool secret rare. I like it a lot and very happy with that grade. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. What's next? Another Japanese card. This one looks pretty flawless. Um, I don't think this one's... Yeah, Japanese cards usually are 9s and 10s, except with the, with the exception of that Mega Gengar over there. So, it's a 10. This is another fun one, guys. This is Imakuni's Doduo. This is on the expansion 20th anniversary. First edition, Gem Mint 10, Imakuni's Doduo. Super funny card. Imakuni was a really just a, a fun little character that they threw in here. I remember playing in the Pokemon trading card game, uh, Game Boy game, uh, playing against Imakuni. It was always funny. So, awesome. Very happy with that. What's next? We got another Japanese card here again, probably another 9 or 10, and it's a Gem Mint 10. This is an awesome one, guys. Expedition, first edition Vile Plume. Wow, that is so cool. This co this hollow is so colorful. Look at the sparkles in this, guys. They're so vibrant. The color in this is incredible. I really, really, really like the way this card looks. I also really always liked the uh, the E-Series style of cards in general. Like, I don't know, they just always stood out to me as something special. And then, of course, you know, you get your hollow sparkles there in between the barcodes as well. Very, very nice. Love these cards. <clears throat> Next up, another Japanese card here, guys, which means another 9 or 10. And that is a Gem Mint 10 Full Art Dialga GX, which is a secret rare in Japanese. This is always what we, I like to do. Any of the secret rares that we pull, whether they be actual secret rares, hyper rares, or um, these full art secret rares, I like to get them all graded just because they're special. They're only one per box, and in some eras they weren't even one per box, so very, very cool. Full art, Dialga. All right, what's next? Oh no, I knocked them all over, okay. I'm just gonna have to go like this. Oh, they're all English cards. Okay, so this is all English from here on in. Let's see what we get out of this. It looks like a nine or 10 candidate for sure. It's a Gem Mint 10 Flygon EX from EX Power Keepers. Yeah, this is a good one. All right, so Flygon EX here. This is before Dragon Types had their own actual typing. So this is a normal type. Uh, Flygon EX, super cool card. Flygon's such a cool Pokemon. It actually is definitely in my, or it is in my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. Super, super cool. Should have had a Mega. Not gonna lie. Should have had a Mega. But Gem Mint 10. Very, very nice. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. All right. What's next after that? Another English card here. Solid looking back. Probably another 9 or 10. And it is. It's a Gem Mint 10. Shining Mew from Shining Legends. Now, right now, this card isn't like super, super valuable, but I feel like one day it has the potential to have some value to it. All the Shining cards, I feel like, will eventually be worth something. Uh, maybe not as much as their original counterparts from the Neo era, but I think that they'll definitely hold some value in the future, so worth grading and holding on to for sure, especially because I think this card was like $10 when I originally bought it. I don't know what it's valued at now, but now that it's a Gem Mint 10, I'm sure the value has definitely increased on it by quite a bit. All right, we got two cards left. Let's see what we have left. Um, okay, this card looks to be in worse condition than this card, so we're gonna leave that one for last. Uh, what was in this? I'm trying to remember. I know I had a Shining Mewtwo because it's in the thumbnail in the very beginning. I don't remember what the last card was. I guess I'll have to figure it out. But uh, this one has quite a bit of edge wear. Um, e. It's probably going to be week eight, strong nine, or week, I'm sorry, strong eight or week nine. Probably going to be an eight, honestly. Oh, it's the Shining Mewtwo. Okay, so this is the Shining Mewtwo. Um, oh, it's got a little bit of scratching there on the hollow as well. But it did get an eight. Okay. 
So this is this is an eight. This is an eight. I can deal with that. So 2002 Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny. Would have liked to have gotten one of these in a nine, but I'll take an eight. That's still pretty good, especially for a card that's this old. And you're talking about a 16 year old Pokemon card here, guys. That's a long time for a card to stay in decent condition. So very, very nice, especially because nobody knew that they were actually going to be worth something one day. And last but not least, this card is puzzling me. I can't remember what card this is, but it looks so nice. Very well centered, perfect edges. I don't see any edge whiting whatsoever. This is a strong card. This is a strong card. It's either gonna be a strong nine or, or, or 10, definitely. So this one, first edition Zapdos from Fossil Gem in 10. Oh my gosh, guys. That's crazy. I don't think I have any other first edition hollows at all that are graded, let alone a gem mint 10. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. And you know what's crazy? Look at this. Look at that hollow pattern up there. You see how it's missing a section? They didn't mark off on that at all. It's still got that Gem Mint 10, even with that missing hollow there, which means this must have been something that was common for the Fossil Era, and I don't remember offhand because I was a kid. I mean, you're talking about 1999, guys, 1999, 19 years ago, what? 19 years? Oh my gosh, I was 11 years old when I first got uh, Fossil Packs. Jeez. So first edition, Gem Mint 10. Zapdos from Fossil. Wow. All right, that's super cool. Again, I, I'm not sure about that hollow. I'm really not. I should go back and look at some of my other Zapdos hollows to see if that was something that actually happened or if it's a known issue or what the case is. Maybe somebody here actually does know that's watching. Um, maybe if PokeSoup's watching or uh, any of my other PSA people here that like to watch these kind of videos, maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section down below what is up with that because that is confusing to me. And I was really worried they were gonna mark off on it, but they didn't. Gem Mint 10, that's insane. All right, guys, well, that's a very, very nice submission here. Uh, April 2018 submission, here we are. Um, I actually sent this off at the end of March to be put into the April queue. So March, okay, so we have April, May, June, July, August. This took five months to come back. This was the last order I believe we shipped off with Ludkins before we started using their express services. So this is definitely the last time we should have a delay anywhere near as long as this one was, but solid results though, guys, solid results. With the exception of one little hiccup here of this unfortunate, unfortunate PSA error here uh, with them screwing up the back of that card and creasing it. Man, I was really, really excited to grade that card too, but Oh well, it is what it is. Ludkins reimbursed me for the value of the card, so it's always very, very nice to know that you're in good hands with a company like that. So highly, 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 highly recommend Ludkins Collectibles, guys, for your PSA grading services. Go check them out. Link in the description down below. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy these PSA videos. I'm sorry that it took so long. Uh, PSA just... Well, they're PSA and they got backed up and it happens. Everybody likes to grade and they're pumping out as fast as they can, but uh, sometimes this happens. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. You all take care and have a great day.